Aloha. This is Emily Thoreau Threat, host of the Grief and Happiness podcast. Every Friday, I share with you my love notes, giving you a little something to think about as you navigate your grief journey, finding happiness expanding along your way. Every Tuesday, I post my regular podcast, sharing wonderful conversations with people you can relate to and offer you encouraging ideas and helpful inspiration. And I invite you to our Grief and Happiness Alliance gatherings for free every week on Zoom. Information provided in the show notes. Aloha. My short podcast for you today is, Are You Journaling? What good is a journal when you just write random things in it that no one else will ever see? My answer is, a journal is a lot of good. The things I hear most often from people who are grieving and dealing with loss is that they miss their loved one and that they're lonely without them or both. A journal can help you with that. When Ron was still here, we sat on our lanai, Hawaiian for deck or porch, and had long conversations every day. We'd talk about anything that popped into our minds from how to help out someone who we knew or to how we felt about something going on politically or to what we'd have for dinner or when we'd have our next party. After he was gone, none of those things seemed important and I felt lost and alone. After a while, I realized that I didn't want to live in a state of sadness, yet I was struggling to think of anything I could be positive about. I turned to my journal. At that time, I wasn't even thinking in complete sentences, so I started writing lists. I would write a list of things that would make me happy. I wasn't eating much and was losing weight, so I wrote a list of foods I would enjoy if I ate them. I wrote a list of people I would love to hear from, and I wrote lists about anything I thought of. At my first list making was just helping me to pass time. Then I realized I was starting to pay attention to what I was writing. I said, I love to walk on the beach. So I did that. I wrote, I would love to have some Cherry Garcia ice cream. So I did. I wanted to hear from my friend, so I wrote to her. I didn't have to do everything I wrote down. And I was grateful to have an idea of what to do and of what could make me happy. These small successes helped me to start waking up So I started writing more in my journal. And what came to me was to have a conversation with Ron. I would write to him in great detail. I had so much I wanted to tell him. I wrote to him all about what I was doing to report the bad effects of the peritoneal dialysis that he was on and how I was helping the doctors know that these things happened so that they could monitor their patients for them and get them help. I wrote to him how I felt about our life together. The more I wrote, the more I had to write. With this writing, the heaviness of grief I was experiencing began to lift. I was able to breathe more easily. I felt I could start to talk to others again. I started to look toward my future. I explored ideas in my writing, and my writing comforted me. Then I started to write others to send them love and support for whatever challenges they were dealing with. And the more I wrote, the more came to me. I started realizing I had more to do, and I would plan out my future in my journal. My journal became my invaluable friend. Now I go back and read what I wrote in those early times, and I'm grateful for the strength I gained from for just writing to myself. And now I'm grateful to write to others to help provide comfort and support for them. You'll be amazed how your writing in your journal can support you on your journey. Just write all your feeling and allow it to help you to move forward. Thanks for listening. And be sure to order your Grief and Happiness Handbook and cards on Amazon. 
All profit from these sales go directly to the Grief and Happiness Alliance nonprofit organization to support these podcasts and all that the organization does to provide comfort and support to those who are dealing with grief and loss. Mahalo. Thank you.